you saw the USA team yesterday, the roster come out? Yeah, I think uh, I'm excited for the girls that are on the team. Um, I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know it could have gone either way, or maybe on the team, maybe not be on the team. So, um, you know, I'm excited for them. Um, they're going to be rooting them on to, to win gold. What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game podcast situation. And this Caitlin Clark being snubbed off the USA Olympic situation. Y'all know I got to get into this. I got to get into this video. I be trying my best not to make so much Caitlin Clark content because of the backlash that I get from the black community. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I just got to stay. I got to stay true to me. And uh, I just feel like if we are trying to grow this sport, what sense does this make? I'm gonna break this thing down best I can and also just tell you guys like how I feel about this situation with the WNBA and how they are literally failing themselves and getting in the way of their of themselves. Like, oh my God, like Kaylin Clark, phenomenal talent. Uh, I get it. The whole black and white Magic Johnson, Larry Bird-esque situation looks good and it may even sound good to some people. But this is complete lunacy in my opinion. I mean, this is, this is just getting ridiculous, man. But I'm gonna do what I gotta do, man, because I just like to cover things from a logical perspective, meaning that I'm not gonna put my emotions into a lot of this, but I am going to discuss how this makes the WNBA look. And uh, we know that Kaitlyn Clark is a phenomenal talent. Uh, she just has this it factor to her. I don't know what it is. It's not the skin. It's not because she's white, okay? That has nothing to do with it for me. But I will say she just has something about her uh, that I feel like a lot of America can relate to, right? Now, some people will get in here and say, well, you're black, you're African-American, so you shouldn't, no, fuck all that. I just gotta be honest with you guys. This chick is a phenomenal talent. And it's just like when you pick out your favorite player. Your favorite player doesn't have to be the best player in the league, right? You just kind of may pick up a toy. You might like the color of the uniform, but whatever that is, it drew you to that team or that player. The same situation with Kaylin Clark. Kaylin Clark is the reason that I, a black man, right? A 31 year old black man am tuning in to watch WNBA highlights. I don't care about no other team. I only want to see this chick here. When I watch other talent, it does not look like this young lady here. But for her to be off of the USA team, think about it. The current USA team is uh, Jackie Young. She's a guard. You got Asia Wilson who deserves it. She's balling. Uh, Diana Taurasi is a little up there in age. You got Brianna Stewart. You got Kelsey Plum. You got Jewel Lord. You got Sabrina. I like Sabrina. Uh, Howard, Brittany Griner. Okay. Uh, Chelsea Gray, Aaliyah Boston, right? Shakira Austin, Ariel Atkins. And uh, I like the fact that they did not put most of the rookies on here. And I am willing to bet that the reason that whoever's in charge of this roster, right, which should be the commissioner, the commissioner should have huge input on who's selected on this roster. I believe that they're so busy playing into politics. They're so busy playing into who, what's going to make this person mad? What's going to make this minority mad? Oh, maybe we should leave a lot of the veterans on there because they haven't had a chance to really showcase their talent while the, the WNBA is hot like this, right? The WNBA is hot, so they want these people who have already, excuse me, these young lady. I don't know, man. What Some of these women like to classify as under certain pronouns, so let me be politically correct. Some of these young ladies, women, right? Some of them feel like they haven't had the glitz and the glam of the game. Like right? they feel like that everything is going on with Kaylin Clark isn't fair to them because of how long they've been in the league and all the things that they've been able to do. Well, we could say that about the women who have come and played way before them, right? It's not our fault that most of the world caught on to this young lady, Kaylin Clark. They do a great job of making this young lady feel bad or try to make this lady feel bad about her success. It was just the dumbest thing to me. These women need a complete revamp. This league needs a complete revamp. They need a different marketing director. I don't know who's in control of this, but they need people who aren't afraid to hurt these women's feelings. This league is full of masculine women who wanna beat on each other and play like men. And they get mad because they aren't getting the proper recognition that the men in the NBA get where they are men. It's not appeasing nor appealing to watch women be. 
these uh <laughs> it's not appealing to watch these women play inmate basketball i'm just gonna be real with you guys we are watching these wnba players play inmate basketball they despise men for the most part but yet they want to be like them it's the dumbest shit i've ever seen i'm, I'm just being honest with you guys then you have this old young caucasian lady caitlin clark who just wants to play basketball seems like she has a long time boyfriend fiance i don't know what it is well, because she's straight in America has simply gotten behind this young lady. She has become America's new sweetheart. And that's not her fault. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at her like no damn sweetheart. But I know that based off of what regular games do, the fans, the viewership, when it's not a game involving Caitlin Clark, it's significantly, drastically different. It's just, it is what it is. It's just different. This lady has brought the right people to the game. So don't you think it'll make sense for you guys to at least put her on a bench in the Olympics? Like, what do we do? Do you guys honestly think, WNBA people, right? Do you guys honestly think that if Caitlin Clark was on the Olympics, right, that it would not do crazy numbers, right? Because you're not just going to have just american men watching it you're gonna have men from all over the world watching this young lady play basketball and what do you guys do so that you guys don't hurt these uh veterans feelings right so that it doesn't come off like you're catering to the white girl you're so busy playing into most of these women emotions that don't matter till you're really harming your own league is i mean i'm sorry somebody got to come out and say this because it's just getting out of hand right and guess what just like you guys you guys do these players in the league are about to be so mad because what do you guys think is going to be on all of the sports channels all over the news was caitlin clark not being able to participate in the usa wnba olympics women's basketball right that's going to be a hot subject you guys are going to get mad and say she's getting all his attention okay well either way it go caitlin clark is going to get attention so if she's going to get attention it might as well benefit the wnba but you guys are so stupid morons to where like you guys just don't know how to negotiate and do business this, I'm, I'm convinced that the wnba is going to dismantle itself from the inside out and you guys are doing more harm than help because if anything happens to this young lady if caitlin clark was to get injured by any of these players right that are you know hitting her and stuff like that what do you guys think is going to happen to the viewership it's going to go down because she's developed a cult-like following where she don't really gotta she's actually dangerous because Kayla clark really don't gotta do no do too much talking you know what i'm saying you got these people out here don't care what color you are they will they ready to die behind this this Kayla clark chick man and it just it's just crazy to me like how the wnba is letting this opportunity you know just slip you how more clear can this get lebron james has come out said that don't get it fucked up the reason that this league is in the position it is in is because of this young caucasian lady caitlin clark that's lebron james who was running the nba for two decades lebron james you see all these other ex-athletes come out and pretty much say like let's be honest you guys are targeting her and you guys are hating but the popular thing to do is to say it's black and white that's not it that's not it at all because when michael jordan was running the nba he had white and black fans Tiger Woods was running golf. He had white and black fans. So why, when it comes to this situation, it has to be about a color? We didn't have a problem with Michael Jordan and LeBron James being black and running the league. And we don't hear white people, Caucasian people, come out and say anything about it. But as soon as it's a white face of the league, right, for women, we got all this, oh, it's, oh, it's this little white girl. We ain't hear none of that about Tom Brady because he was universally loved. So what I'm saying is we pick and choose when we want to be black or uh, support the, the the sister or the brother. Like, come on, man, I'm just calling it. I'm just calling this shit out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest, guys. And I know that a lot of y'all don't be rocking with me when I come out and tell the truth, but I would rather people rock with me for telling the truth than rock with me for being a fake ass yes man. That ain't my style, never will be. I just gotta be honest about it. So let's actually take time to get into this report. Uh, where Kelly Clark pretty much saying since she was snubbed, uh, since she was snubbed from the uh, WNBA USA team roster, it woke up a monster. I think this is what she she needed because she's been trying to play like the nice girl role, 
you know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna they're gonna beat your ass anyway, Kayla. So forget all that trying to be nice stuff. You gotta come out and just be the assassin that you are, the killer that you are, the mamba mentality that you have, man. You just gotta come out and be be real and let the world see you organically for who you are. So let's continue to read where it says uh, the Indiana Fever star Kaylin Clark has reportedly been left off of Team USA women's basketball team uh, for the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, and it has only provided her with mo extra motivation. And uh, it seems like that's what she told her coach here, where it says, hey, coach, they woke a monster. Clark didn't need the extra motivation on Friday night when she scored 30 points in 39 minutes against the Washington Mystics. And let me pause on this real quick, because I see a lot of people in my comment section saying that, you know, she's that Angel Reese is better, right? Angel Reese is better, right? That's what everybody tells me in my comment section who really don't even watch the sport. They just want to watch the color if you guys are following me. And this is what the worst team in the WNBA is the Washington Mystics. Kaylin Clark put up 30. Angel Reese put up 15. Angel Reese has the height advantage, the strength, the power, all of that. So that's a prime example of why people watch her game. The body control she has, shooting a fadeaway from the logo, the three-point, uh, the side of the court. Like, it's just better looking basketball to the eye. But anyway, let me keep going. Her performance included a rookie record tying seven three-pointers during the game in routes in route to an 85-83 win. Right? The Fever could use more games like that from Clark, who leads all WNBA rookies with 16.8 per game. Uh, and Indiana is near the bottom of the standing with its three and nine record and have yet to win back to back games this season. In this moment, man, Kaylin Clark is just literally having fun, you know, like letting the game come to her. Uh, I mean, look at these people behind her. I mean, these are minorities, right? So when people like to say things like all the white people know, like this is what sports do, like sports galvanize all aspects of life like make everybody come together man and it's it's beautiful to just watch that once we get into all this black and white shit it just it just muddies up and, and, and uglies up the game and i know that these are that i know that this is some of the other nba players talking like most of the, the nba players talking especially angel reese her skill set isn't like a Kaylin Clark. So what does she have to do? She has to be ferocious. She has to be a bouncer, Draymond Green. Y'all know I call her Draymond Reese. Uh, she has to be like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that Angel Reese isn't a good player, but she isn't great, okay? When I see Angel Reese hooping, I see a bunch of putbacks. It's just like when Gray Draymond Green scores, we like, he goes like, you know, ah, like yelling and shit. It's because like, he's so happy he fucking made it because he's not really good at anything else besides his IQ, setting stuff and clay up to shoot. So you're going to be excited when you shoot a ball. But when I look at the things that she did Friday, when I saw her go off like that, I'm just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the type of talent that I will watch. And it's just because of the way she carries herself. It's like a humbleness to her. It's like, a okay. Say what you guys want to say. I'm just going to play basketball. And I know a lot of people like to say that she plays into like this sweetheart thing or whatever, man. She was, she's from a different upbringing. Obviously, I can see that from college. But I just think that it's also beauty in her just being a natural hooper and enjoying the game. That doesn't mean that she's the best. I would like to say that Asia Wilson looks like she's hooping pretty good. She actually has a better bag than Caitlin Clark. She just didn't catch the attention at the appropriate time that Caitlin Clark has been able to manifest. And that's why a lot of these veterans in the league are not respecting her. But man, you know, her having her on the roster, just the face card, right? She don't even got to get the minutes, but just having her on the roster of Team USA would have drastically changed this sport. And oh my God, like these folks be tripping, man. And another thing that I really, really do like about Caitlin Clark is her sense of humility and humbleness behind that. Like being snub off the team is constantly showing support. Like this is what she said to the reporters, you know, following the, the Team USA snub. I'm excited for the girls that are on the team, she said. I know it's the most competitive team in the world and I knew it could have gone either way. Me being on the team, me not being on the team. I'm excited for them. I'm going to be rooting them on to win gold. You don't see no entitlement. You don't see no, I deserve to be on the roster. I deserve, it's because of me that all of this is happening anyway. It's because of me that these players on the roster are getting the attention that they're getting. These women don't even realize that most of the men are supporting Kaylin Clark. 
right? The main people who y'all want to support the sport are supporting it. We're just not supporting it with y'all as much because y'all aren't catching our attention the way that she is. And don't nobody want to hear that attitude shit all the time. Don't nobody want to hear all that. We want to see stuff like this. We're not telling y'all to act like a damn white girl. I'm not saying act like a white girl. What I'm saying is feminine energy sells. That's the bottom line. Feminine energy sells. So nobody want to deal with all that aggressive stuff. That's why women don't come see y'all. Women don't even come support this sport on their own because of how y'all act. And women know women best. See, that's what I'm getting at. See, men like me, I'm just not getting into this whole WNBA situation. And there's so much drama going on. I literally understand why women don't like to deal with women. I, I do now. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I really do. I mean, this has gotten to the point. I know that Kaylin Clark has a great, fantastic PR team, but uh, we have her mom, Nizi Clark, uh, the mom of Kaylin Clark, come out and write this on X. USA Basketball's timing is terrible. Clark just made seven threes and scored 30 in front of the largest WNBA crowd in 17 years. 20,333 people in attendance in D.C., more than double the crowd Chicago drew the night before the same arena. Now, what does it tell you? It tells you that her mom is taking a shot at Angel Reese, right? Uh, because she's she. it's only so much a parent can take of their child being humiliated, thrown across the court, refs not calling anything, and she's taking it on the chin. We don't know what's going on. Kelly Clark might go home crying every night, might call her mom, you know, probably saying that she doesn't know how much more she can take. So it lets me know that her mom, being a mom and what a mom should do is just like, look, like this is what my daughter was able to do. Now, Angel Reese, you guys, right? The Chicago Sky, and Angel Reese is supposed to be the gods in there. Why isn't she drawing in 20,333 uh, people in DC? And she's very sneaky. Angel Reese would say, yeah, it's fun to see a sold out crowd. She said that the same game she played Caitlin Clark, like, no, the crowd wasn't there for you, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. The crowd wasn't there for you. The crowd was there for Caitlin Clark. Let's not get this thing misconstrued. And look at this, 20,033, 20, look at this, guys. 20,333 people in attendance, and this ain't even a playoff game. What is that? Come on. What does that tell you guys, right? What does that tell you? It, it has to tell you guys that the statistical data is telling you guys that Caitlin Clark is a cash cow. Caitlin Clark is a big draw. Caitlin Clark has white America. Caitlin Clark has a cult fan base. Caitlin Clark is simply special. Now imagine what 20,333 times 10 would look like if she made the USA team roster. And we're trying to grow the sport so that everybody can become popular. We don't just want to look at Caitlin Clark. What we want to do is get the attention of all of the other women by Caitlin Clark introducing us. There are certain cars you can't get unless you have a membership. There are certain credit cards you can't get unless you know somebody with a membership. There are certain cigar lounges you can't come into if, if you don't know anybody with a membership. Same thing with credit cards. It's the same thing with the WNBA. We just need this one young lady to introduce us to the rest of the talent that we may not know about. That's what happened with Michael Jordan. Then you start to see people have favorite players, not just Jordan. It's other players that we can root for. But we have to first get the attention through Caitlin Clark. That's all I'm saying, guys. And I don't really know like how much more simple this could like sound or make sense to anybody out there who's willing to listen. But I just think at the end of the day, man, the WNBA, uh, they're, they're failing themselves and they seem like they're in over their heads and they're letting the moment slip because you don't want the fans to like totally not care, man, and stop watching Caitlin Clark games because of the frustrations of fans like myself being fed up with the, the, the p political parts of this league. It just doesn't make sense. So y'all, that's all I got, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think on this situation as, uh, you know, she's been snubbed and uh, I'm quite sure you know, this will be covered everywhere tomorrow uh, on certain, you know, channels and, you know, uh, t sports shows. And let's be honest, guys, real, real quick before I get out of here, let's be honest. How many people really are going to watch the women's WNBA USA Team Olympics? Because for years, USA Team Olympic has been in place. Nobody is watching the women's like that because people barely were watching the men's USA basketball. Let's be honest. But with this, I will say... It would have definitely drawn in a lot of eyes and it's never too late maybe they can figure something out you know that can get her on a roster but i just feel like you know as a fan 
this was a, a huge blow because I, I still I want the attention to be brought to this league, to the ladies in this league. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like because of the hate and the shade being thrown her way, it just makes me more of a believer in the support of her. So I'm a fan, just like LeBron James, Charles Barkley, right? All of the big fish in the NBA support this young lady, so so do I. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Yeah. If you found any value to this video, I ask that you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more future content. See you guys next time. Peace.